Hello everybody and fellow Godzilla and Kaiju fans worldwide, this is Dragonzilla here, and today slash tonight's review will be on a figure that I got for Christmas 2022, and that would be the Tamashi Nation's SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004, or Final Goji, as that was the name of the suit, from Godzilla Final Wars, which was the finale to the Millennium Era, and made to commemorate the King of the Monsters 50th Anniversary in 2004. <coughs> Now at the time, it was said that the movie was meant to be the last Godzilla film, much to the dismay of the fans, but they were reassured that in 10 years time, the King would return, and boy the Big G has come back big style, as we've had the Monsterverse from Hollywood in America, and the new Reiwa era over in Japan. So those who thought that Godzilla Final Wars was going to be the last entry in the whole franchise, had no idea that 10 years later would see a new golden age of kaiju films to be made worldwide, from Japan to America. As for the movie itself, well most folks have mixed opinions on it. Some say it's good and it's one of the best, while others claim that it's actually one of the worst and it's tall rubbish. Not worth seeing. Me however, I kinda like it. The film isn't perfect I will admit. I pretty much look past the Matrix scenes and focus on the Kaiju, despite the fact that their scenes are cut short while the humans and mutants dominate the picture, but for the star of the show himself Godzilla, I really do like the 2004 suit. Again, I am aware that some fans like the design, and others say he looks too much like an alligator on steroids, but personally I don't mind the final Gorgi suit. And this is my fifth favourite incarnation of the character. Now since getting the high grade slash Gashapon figure, I have been searching for a larger model of the Final Wars Godzilla to go alongside it. I did however come across the Bad Eye Creations figure of him when I was on vacation in America many years ago back in late 2010. And I didn't buy it because I had the X Plus 64 Godzilla slash Morsegorgi and Tremaster's 98 Zilla, two figures that I certainly will review someday. And at the time, I didn't want to go for another model of Godzilla just yet. I wanted to go for someone else. And since ordering more kaiju figures, I eventually began to regret not picking up the BC model. And so I looked for a decent Bandai figure on eBay. But whenever I found one, I could afford it because it cost an arm and a leg. And back in the day when NECA were making Godzilla figures, I would often hope that they would eventually do Final Gorgi. But sadly, it wasn't meant to be, as they lost the license to make Godzilla models in 2000. 20, the year we don't talk about. So you can imagine how thrilled I was when I heard that Tamashi Nations had announced that they were going to do an SH Monster Arts figure for 2004 Godzilla. The promo image looked fantastic and I was itching so badly to get the figure and when it finally came out, again like both the character and the movie, the opinions were mixed. Some hailed us as one of the best models to come out of Tamashi Nations so far and others saw it as one of the worst. But my thoughts on this bad boy? Well, let's take a look. Now when it comes to SH Monster Arts figures, they're very delicate and have been known to suffer from quality control issues. And before getting this particular model, I only had three Tamashi Nation figures, those being Fire Rodan, Mechagodzilla 2 and 2019 Burning Godzilla. And all three managed to escape QC issues. However, when I got this guy on Christmas Day, his left arm and tail had come loose in the packaging. The arm managed to fit in easily, no problem, but the tail however was different because the ball joint had moved to the side. Putting it back into place was easy, however I had to use boiling hot water to heat up the tail for 30 seconds until fitting it back in and I've been unable to remove the tail since. Those were the only QC issues I was able to fix, however there is one area that I cannot sort out and those would be the eyebrows. When looking on each side, it is at first unnoticeable, however when facing forward, you'll then begin to realise that one eyebrow appears to be higher than the other, instead of both being at a low point, like on the actual suit. I had been hearing lots of reports of people receiving theirs with worse brows. Another thing I'm not so keen on would be the shoulder section. This figure is in a bar pose, and his arms are placed down, but unfortunately, the opening is exposed. Yes, the arms can be positioned to hide the opening, but because this is a delicate figure, it's quite stiff on mine, and I don't want to risk breaking the model. I know that I could always just heat it up, however, I can raise the arms up higher, so it gives the illusion that he's going to wrestle another kaiju. So those are the negatives out of the way. Here are the positives and what I like about this figure. Well, except for the eyebrows, I love the head. You can tell that this is the Final Wars Godzilla, despite the cockeyed expression. And it really does bring to mind the McFarlane dragons of long ago. 
Perhaps I should talk about one of those guys someday. He does have fine articulation, as you'll see in other people's reviews. But I keep him in this battle pose. And I believe that this is how we saw him for the majority of the picture. His dorsal spines are striking, and on this incarnation, only one spine is larger than the others. There is one that is stuck out. I don't really recall one that was like that in the film, but I don't really pay much attention to it. The tail is famously sectioned, so you can pose it either up, down, or side to side. The dorsal spines on Final Gorgi are fascinating because on most other incarnations, the middle spines are traditionally larger and the side spines are smaller. Or in the case of Heisei Godzilla, all spines are huge. Well, for 2004 Godzilla, he has one large dorsal spine, and the rest gets smaller as you go down the body. The paint job seems to match the suit perfectly, while I don't see anything that looks off-putting. But if there is a correction that you can see in the paintwork, then just inform me in the comments. And now for everybody's favourite part, size comparisons. Now, I don't have that many large kaiju figures from Godzilla Final Wars, but for the ones that I do currently have, here he is with the 2004 Rodan from the same movie, to which he looks good with, and he also looks great with the Final Wars Gigan. And for the other monster who appeared in the movie, here he is with the Final Wars Manda. And for two other kaiju, here he is with the original Showa Gigan, to which we have reviewed on the channel, links in the description below. And of course, here he is with the Bandai Movie Monster Series Baron, who sadly didn't appear in Godzilla Final Wars even though he should have, but at least he was acknowledged through stock footage in the opening scene. Again, the review is linked below if you wish to check that video out. So, final thoughts on the Tamashii Nation's SH Monster Arts Godzilla 2004, aka Final Gorgi. Except for the quality control issues, yes, I would have to say that I get enjoyment out of this figure. Mind you, like I said earlier, this is one of my top favourite incarnations of the King. Not as good as the original 1954 Gojira, but better than the 1998 Tristar Zilla. However, when I look at some certain areas of the model, especially when focusing on the side, a small part of me does actually wish that I waited for Bandai to re-release him for their Movie Monster series line, but I quickly remind myself that I don't have that many Tamashii Nation models in the collection, and thus this was one of many incarnations that I hoped NECA would do back in the day. But sadly they didn't, so I'm very grateful that we now have him in the SH Monster Arts line. Will I ever get the vinyl model of him at some point in the future? Well, I guess that depends if I'm that desperate for another 2004 Godzilla figure. This is Dragonzilla signing out. Take care and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now. <coughs> Actually, the more I look into his face, and with that quality control issue, he looks like a pirate.